friends, we are on our way to visit the Cradle Moon Game Lodge in Murder's Drift, Johannesburg. This is situated close to the Lanseria Airport and is about 30 minutes from Midrand. The roads are well maintained so the drive is perfect for any type of vehicle. The entrance to the venue is also paved throughout. The parking area is quite neat and well maintained with lots of car guards, so be sure to carry a tip for them. Wristbands need to be purchased from the little shop at the entrance for all the activities you choose to do while at Cradle Moon. The water sports armbands can be purchased at the lake. The shop is also well stocked on refreshments so make sure you get it before you start your activities as it is a long walk back to the shop. And these are some of the activities that you will find at Cradle Moon. So Uzair and Adil, what can you say? Are you excited? Uh -huh, yeah. The walk down to the lake and the starting point of the hike is quite long, but there's amazing scenery to enjoy while walking, like these rondavals, which can be booked for a stay over as well. There are parking facilities closer to the lake but these are only for those visiting the restaurant and for guests staying over only. And while we were visiting, there were preparations underway for the Central Gauteng Triathlon. The Cradle Moon Game Lodge also features this beautifully set up beach area which is close to the lake and a perfect place to relax with adequate shade. The water sports area which is situated next to the restaurant is quite busy so be sure to get there early if you would like to make use of the facilities. There are activities like water cycling, canoes and paddle boats. There's also a bigger boat that takes you out 7 kilometers to visit the resident hippo family and you also get to see other animals as well. The restaurant is quite busy but unfortunately not halal friendly and you're not allowed to bring in food from the outside into Cradle Moon as well. So that was a major disappointment for me. Walking down from the restaurant towards the hike, there's a downward slope which reaches the beautiful Cradle Moon waterfall area. The waterfall is absolutely mesmerizing and you have to stop for a picture. What do you think about the waterfall, Adil? It's great, amazing, so mesmerizing. Is there? It's good. I like it. it also is it the first time you've seen a waterfall? No. It powered the, the restaurant by hydroelectricity. Amazing. You can also walk really close to the waterfall which was quite exciting for the boys, especially since it was extremely hot 
and the splashes of water really cooled them down a bit. Because it was extremely hot and we were quite tired already, we decided to not do the hike and instead do some water sports. It was good to finally cool off with the available water sports and because they were so limited we had to take one of each water sport, which was water cycling, paddle boats which the kids enjoyed and I ended up canoeing. Not the best option as you sit quite close to the water and a slight movement sways the canoe. I thought I was going to topple over a few times, but luckily I survived. I wasn't dressed for this outing because it was just supposed to be exploring the place, but it was quite fun nonetheless. It's a beautiful place, perfect for a day's outing with the family, but older folk and younger kids below 8 years old would definitely not manage all the climbing and walking. I would give this place an 8 out of 10, losing 2 marks for no halal food, but do visit this place and let me know in the comment section about your experience. Thanks for watching!